Yeah, so we, we performed a, um, a, a retrospective analysis using the flat iron data set, uh, looking at patients with metastatic advanced non-small cell lung cancer diagnosed in the United States throughout multiple uh, practices, uh, mostly community practices in the, in, the, in the country. And we covered the span of years from 2017 through 2020, so it's a very contemporaneous cohort. And we looked for evidence of, um, of uh, NGS testing um, um, in, in those uh, individuals, in those patients. And we um, not only identified that the testing rates were, were very low in general, but when we compared um, you know, individuals of, uh, of patients of, of black race to, to white uh, uh, counterparts, uh, patients of uh, white race counterparts, we saw significant disparities. We, you know, barely 30% of, uh, of the patients with advanced metastatic non-small cell lung cancer of black race are undergoing NGS testing. Uh, not only, you know, prior to, to initiation of first-line therapy, but ever after the diagnosis of, of non-small cell lung cancer. Um, and it's, uh, it's very troublesome because we also identify that there was a very strong correlation between undergoing NGS testing at any given time after the diagnosis of, of metastatic non-small cell lung cancer and before first-line therapy initiation and enrolling in a clinical trial, participating in a clinical trial. And, you know, this is, this is certainly a, a hypothesis-generating finding, but um, certainly raises concerns that uh, lack of NGS testing, disparities in NGS testing may contribute to disparities in in representation in clinical trials for certain uh, racial and, and ethnic uh, groups in the United States.